My name is Santi Comesana. Some of you may have already heard of me. Some of you may not. This is my story. This is where it all begins for me. And this is where it really starts. We've just come to the end of a, another season in the footballing world. And I've signed for Rio Vallecano. But they did not play me in a single match. And as a player, that really frustrates me. It makes me want to play more, it makes me want to go, and it makes me want to leave. And I got offered a contract with a team in England. I will have to leave my hometown here in Spain to go and reach my dreams, my goals of being a professional footballer. And if I need to go to a different country to do that, if I need to leave my family, then that will be what it will be. Maybe that's what I have to do. I'm just leaving my parents' house here where I've been staying for the last few weeks. My friend Jesus Garcia, we've had a bit of a, an interesting relationship since we both joined the club. Some of you may already know his story. If you don't, you need to get informed. But guys, I'm just here about to make my way to uh, England where we're going to be looking to sign for a team. And uh, there's one thing I cannot take with me and that is this car. My beloved car, I cannot take it with me, so I need to do something with it. I need money for when I get to England, so I'm going to have to pay for my tickets, pay for somewhere to stay when I get there, and reluctantly, I'm selling my beloved car, which I bought not long ago at the start of the year, and here we are, just getting rid of it now, just selling it off. And I need to make changes, I need to make things happen in my life to make sure I get where I need to go. I have the potential I know I do to be one of the best players in the world and nothing and I mean nothing is going to stop me doing that I'm gonna catch a bus here now to go to the airport in Madrid maybe for the last time here in Madrid you never know where we may end up once again in the future but for now guys we are leaving our hometown Madrid where we've grown up alongside our boyhood friend got uh, Jesus Garcia and we're going to have to be leaving him to join Godric Manston's Brentford if all goes well with the contract negotiations. I can't believe this is happening, guys. I haven't told anybody I'm leaving. I'm just going. I'm just doing it. I'm taking one for myself. I'm doing it for myself. And I want to make sure I get somewhere in my life. I don't want to be staying here and doing nothing. Not playing any games for Rayo Vallecano. So I'm making the move myself. I'm going to make my own way to England. I just sold my car, which is going to pay for my tickets, which is going to pay for my stay in England until I get paid hopefully if I get signed to a club if I don't I don't know what will happen but we're here at the airport in Madrid about to buy our plane ticket where we will be heading off to England to London where we will hopefully be signing as the summer transfer window begins and here we go about to get on the plane guys leaving Madrid maybe for the last time maybe we'll be back here one day maybe we will see Jesus Garcia again maybe we'll even play against him but for now we're gonna head off to London, England, where we will be looking to sign for Godric Manston's Brentford FC in the championship this season. Looking to help them get to the Premier League. If we can do it, it's going to be an interesting season, guys. I hope you're all here to help me with this series. I hope you're all going to tune in. It's going to be some epic, interesting storylines going on. Here we are just leaving Madrid for the very last time. And here we are, guys, arriving in London, England at Gatwick Airport. This is the very beginning of the Santi Comisana, my player career. This is going to be a mini series, and I hope you guys will all enjoy this one. It's going to be so much fun to do a different perspective of the My Player stories. Make sure you get into this just as much as you do the Jesus Garcia guys. Here we are now arriving at the airport in Gatwick, about to hop into a taxi where we're going to be heading back to the hotel for the month before we have our contract negotiations tomorrow with the club. This is going to be an interesting time here. We're playing in England. We just arrived, got a bit of jet lag, so I kind of want to rest at the moment as well. So we're going to be heading home for the night and getting a bit of rest, that is for sure, just to try and recuperate in time for the contract signing, which is going to be going on tomorrow, which will determine how much money we will be earning here at the club and how much of a bonus we might get 
as well. We need to make sure we negotiate that properly. As you guys may already know or not, the uh, deal between Brentford and Rio Vallecano has been agreed by the clubs of 2.3 million. Whether we can agree on a contract is another matter. Hopefully we can. But here we are just arriving at the hotel for the night where we're going to be staying. And the taxi driver has just dropped us off. And we're going to make our way in, get some rest, recover from our jet lag a little bit, and then head to the contract negotiations in the morning. As you can see here, guys, we're heading into the hotel now. Waking up the next morning, and it's a very nice sunny day here. Hotel in Brentford, London, just leaving now. Hopping back into the taxi, and where we're going to be heading off to the club office of Brentford F. See where we hopefully will be signing a decent contract and staying here for at least a couple of years and hopefully we get played and make an impact. I will not be sitting down for this. I will be making sure I get picked every single game. I'll be making sure it's in my contract to be picked every single game. I will not stand down. I will take as many chances as I can. I play center attacking mid. I played for Rayleigh Vallecano for one season. Did not get a single appearance in and that really frustrates me. I'm a growing player and I need these opportunities to flourish and at the moment I'm just not being given them over in Spain. So we've made our way to London here and as you can see guys we're just approaching the Brentford office where we're going to be getting our contract negotiations underway and as you can see guys just arriving and now very very nervous indeed as you can hear from the heart because just making our way in to the office the receptionist greets us and pushes us through on to the manager Godric Manson who we will be meeting once again and here we are guys about to get our contract negotiations underway to sign for Brentford FC as you can see Godric Manson there sitting in his chair we come into the office with me and my agent here who I hired for the day in London we'll have to look to get a new one soon you guys will have to choose that one as you can see just gonna start by discussing my role at the club and my playing time and um, Godric Manson the manager here has considered me as untouchable in terms of being in the starting lineup every week unless I get injured and that is exactly what I wanted to hear to be a crucial team player here at Brentford the age of 21 a center attacking mid 69 overall or 70 at the moment and the uh, agent my agent that I got for the day said great that's what we were hoping for I'm very happy with that he said we're making good progress and now let's agree on how many years you want to sign for guys and I had to think about this and I want to stay here for a while I want to make an impact and get to the Premier League they've offered me a three-year contract and I think that suits me very well so I think I'm going to accept the three year deal so that we can kind of have a chance to make an impact on this team and if things don't go well we can always end up leaving after the three years or even after two years so yes we said we will agree to those terms which is really good crucial three years we didn't want a release clause I said to him when we walked in I do not want a release clause on my contract just in case I do want to leave and Godric Manson seemed happy with that he agreed and that is okay by me Godric Manson seems like a very reasonable man here at the moment so hopefully we can get some money out of him in terms of our salary as you can see we're about to get into it now to talk about the money for me this is very very important I need a lot of money to be able to get through and at the moment he's only offering me 22 grand which isn't too bad I mean I probably could go a bit lower and but they offer me only a 30,000 signing on bonus and 50,000 if I score goals and I said I don't really want to score goals for the club so I offered a reduced wage of 19,500 but I wanted a signing on bonus of 240,000 to really help me get settled in and guys they agreed with it Godric Manson agreed with my terms we're signing here for Brentford F see in the championships in England for two million pounds and we've also going to be paid 19,000 a week as you can see guys using that signing on bonus we're going to be paying for the renting of this new property here in the middle of Brentford London as you can see a very nice looking place it's even got a pool and everything very happy guys I can't believe what is happening it's like a dream come true coming down from a very poor season with Rayo Vallecano and actually getting picked and signed for a new club here in England in the championship we're gonna have to work really hard and work our way into the Premier League that is for sure but if we can do that guys we will be having a great time here maybe even get in some European football and maybe one day head back to Spain and play against our former club that'll be an interesting day if that ever happens maybe one day we'll even play against um, Jesus Garcia who is now playing for Valencia which could be very interesting but we got to focus on what's going on at home for now as you can see from this nice little house we've got we're renting this one for now if you guys like it make sure you hit up the comments and let me know what you think of it guys we're going to be skipping the entire of preseason and heading straight into the first game of the season as you can see here guys waking up on game day it is this day the first day of the season here in the skybet championship we've been training hard with the squad we've been having great practices we've been getting along well with everybody and we've been doing really well in training and the manager seems very happy with how things are progressing the first game we've got this season is against aston villa away from home and as you can see guys 
Comisana to make a debut for Brentford. This could be an interesting one. That's me in the papers, in the news here, in the local Brentford paper and online on the website. We also just signed a new player, Brandon Barker, who might be making his debut today on the left wing if he gets picked for the squad. He also signed for about three million pounds, I think he was. As you can see there, three million Brandon Barker signed for. I signed for 2.3 million, so he's a bit more pricey, him, and we've got a few other players apparently that have just joined the squad in the last few days who I'm yet to meet. So I'm going to be heading off to the game though to start this season off, guys. As you can see, arriving at Griffin Park, Judge as well, one of the midfielders, apparently he's a bit worried about his starting places in the squad now that I have joined the team. Maybe that could be a bit of a rivalry going on. Let me know in the comments below or do we want to get along with Judge and kind of help him out. There's also the likes of McEachran in the middle as well who are going to be interesting to play alongside. We've got a bit of an ego going here myself. I do like money. I do like scoring goals. And I do like being the main man in the team. So I wonder how that's going to shape the rest of the squad in terms of how we play, guys. But we're arriving here at the Griffin Park Stadium, about to hop on the away bus, where we're going to be going to the away game on Aston Villa, guys. And I don't know anything about England. I don't know my way around. I don't speak very good English language at the moment. So maybe that's something we need to learn. As you can see here, guys, the really cool looking high-end Brentford bus is just waiting here for us to hop on. And everyone greets me as I come onto the bus and just... I'm getting very nervous about this whole occasion and I'm just hoping everything is going to be okay. It's, <laughs> it's going to be my debut in, guys, in the championship. It's a pretty serious league in England. If we can win the league here or at least get promoted, we will be heading to the Premier League. That's one of the places I've dreamed about playing all my life. It's where the best players play. It's where all the money is as well. So maybe one day we can get to that stage in our career. As you can see, guys, we're going to get this game started off against Aston Villa away from home at Villa Park. Our first ever game playing for Brentford after a very unsuccessful season over at Rio Vallecano. A 2.3 million transfer has seen us join here. And the likes of Godric Manston has been the man to help sign us there. As you can see, two other the players that have signed for um, Brentford this season just in have been Sassignon at right back and the other guy at centre back as well who are both quite young players so it'll be interesting to see them in the squad as well playing against this pretty veteran Aston Villa side who are very well placed in the league as they usually are but hopefully we can just do enough to get through this and pass on a few goals past them if we can do it guys we'll have to wait and see you can see me in the lineup there shaking hands with all these players and we're having a pretty good time here just getting to know everybody in the squad there is Brandon Barker as well just getting to know a few new people as you can see they're playing a 4-4-2 formation here in the championship in the first game of the season Codger up front for Villa and a few other decent players amongst the, the lineup as well as you can see though from the Brentford one guys the Brentford one looks pretty interesting we've got me in there look at that center attacking mid the managers put me straight in the middle alongside McEachran and Judge who is playing alongside as well Mapai leaving the line up front with Barker and Edwards in the, the wings as well so we're looking really good this season guys we've got quite a strong line I'm quite quite happy with how we've lined up to the start this season off hopefully we can push on and get lots of wins and here we go Aston Villa getting this game underway now can they do it can we get some goals and the first chance of the game comes to Villa they're laying it central here Hogan on the ball tries to lay it around nicely Whelan on it now looks to get this ball back to the midfield but Elmer Hamidi clings this one up and Doma laying it to the edge Jennings there and Hogan with the shot and the ball goes flying over David's goal and at the moment I haven't really had a say in this game Barker's on the ball now I'm trying to run central but I can't quite get the ball back to feet and Barker goes in there with a dirty challenge and I was very interested in how he approached that. He tried to get across into me, but he couldn't quite get it. And in frustration, he took out the defender there, who looks quite injured after that one. And he gets a yellow card. I was a bit, I felt a bit sorry for him, but at the same time, it was a pretty rough challenge. And he probably did deserve it. So I just tried to calm him down a bit. And guys, we made our way forward here. And I made a great three ball attempt here to Mapai. Mapai tries to take the shot there, almost getting me an assist, but I just couldn't quite get on it and Mapai couldn't quite finish that one off and guys it's 19 minutes into this game and here come Villa with the next chance of it and here comes Kodja on the ball shoots that one around the right hand side of the goal and it goes terribly wide can't believe he didn't score that one and it's gone out of play and here they come with another chance now 33 minutes in Kodja on the ball once again looking to get a chance away here he's opened up the space really nicely for himself and he's gone and put it in the back of the net to make it 1-0 in this game 34 minutes played guys we've gone 1-0 down 35 minutes into this first half 10 minutes left to go we are now 1-0 down, very frustratingly for us, not being able to get much forward. We had a good chance, but I laid it through to Mapai there earlier on in the game, and he completely 
completely miss the opportunity of a lifetime to go 1-0 up for us and give me an assist in my debut but hopefully we can get something out of this maybe I can grab an assist in this game from a center attacking mid I would expect to and I feel like I'm playing really well so far in this game we just have conceded a goal which is a bit frustrating but I'm sure we can come back from this we've got a whole second half to go and 10 minutes left of this first half guys here we come I'm just passing it around trying to get the ball flowing again getting it underway but guys 38 minutes in a chance coming forward for Jennings they're having a shot there can they get it in Brand Bentley with a great save to keep that one out and we got very very lucky once again Bentley making a great save and blaming the boys out after that poor challenge there goes the halftime whistle in this game guys it has currently gone into the break 1-0 down to Aston Villa which is a bit frustrating and we should really be doing better than this but they've taken their chance and they have done well to put it in the back of the net James Chester there the one that uh, Barker tried to take out and get injured but he seems to be okay now and here we are getting the game back underway judge there nice nicely laying it to Edwards and we've got a chance here coming straight from the halftime mark can we get this one in the box now we've got a good one coming forward Sessegnon there passing nicely to me I just laid it off there to McEachern get it back to my feet here I've got a chance to take a shot I laid it off there to Mapai Mapai takes a terrible pass yeah a terrible touch there and he goes and loses it loses possession and here comes Villa with a counter-attacking chance Adoma opening up the space perfectly and he drags that ball really really badly wide of the goal and it's still 1-0 in this game to Aston Villa but guys here we come forward with the next chance of the game I'm on the ball here in the midfield I lay it really nicely into Mapai. Mapai takes a great touch three balls are hit to Sessegnon Sessegnon to take the shot to score he has a pass he takes a shot instead and it goes in the back of the net 1-0 up in this game 1-0 1-1 on the scoreline 56 minutes in we've gone and equalised the right back Sessegnon there with a very nice goal indeed tries to take the pass doesn't work out and he manages to clean up the shot and put that in the back of the net to make it 1-1 in this game him scoring on his debut I go and give him a high five as well scoring on his debut here for Brentford from the right back position something we need to do if we can is score on our debut really make an impact and make our name for ourselves straight away and guys getting the game back underway is Aston Villa but here we come with a chance now Edwards there laying it nicely to Mapai. Mapai is on the ball now looking to get this one back to Edwards here Edwards takes a nice little touch fakes in his eye crosses it to the back post and Brendan Barker with the shot Barker goes and puts us 2-1 up and what a goal it was as well 59 minutes played and Brentford are 2-1 up in this game Barker even though he's got a yellow card has gone and scored a fantastic goal a great ball into the box from Marcus Edwards there sees us go 2-1 up against Aston Villa away from home look at this chance here turning with a fake shot touch inside left foot cross perfectly to Barker who leaps up high enough to get on that one and he heads it to the right side of the goal past the goalkeeper and we go 2-1 up in this game we've finally taken the lead hopefully we can hold this till the last minute or maybe maybe just we can add more to it we'd hope that they don't come back and get a goal back to 2-2 because that would not be how we want to spend the rest of this game guys as you can see 72 minutes in here we come forward with a chance now on the ball once again Barker on it now looking to get this one forward we've got Comisana here myself on the ball taking a shot there my first shot all game took 73 minutes to turn up on my debut and it doesn't quite get anywhere I just tried a quick snapshot but it wasn't meant to be Rico Henry now laying it off on the edge of the box nicely here to me once again Santi Comisana and he's just gone and put it over the bar I can't believe I missed that one should have kept that one down at least got it on target guys but in the 87th minute of this game a chance comes to Santi on my debut has a shot there and it looks like it's going to go in the top right hand corner Santi got me sat in the goals and scores on his debut for Brentford FC and what a goal it was to go 3-1 up in this game in the 88th minute we've taken the lead we've done it guys we've won the game here we've got three points for our new club Brentford and we scored on our debut can you believe it we've done it here what a goal to top it all off a nice pass here from I think it was Judge and what a touch what a shot into the top right hand corner and I scored an absolutely stunning goal to really make my name an impact on the score sheet today what a goal what a game this has turned out to be and what a day you guys look at these celebrations Godric Manson the manager there so happy with his signings all three new signings score goals today and what a debut it's been for all of us Santi there me on the score sheet one goal in the EFL championship in the first game of the season on my debut and we've gone and done it guys 89 minutes played we got one minute left to go before this game was over and what a way to win it how can we do it any better than this guys three one up against a very good team and it looks like the game is all but over and we've gone and grabbed ourselves all three points here today with three fantastic goals from three debutants as well very very happy with that performance Godric Manson there shaking the hand of the Aston Villa manager in condolences and 
we've gone and grabbed ourselves three great points as you can see they're celebrating with the teammates after that very very happy with my own performance guys very happy with the team's performance and i feel like this team can really do well this season i have a great feeling they almost made it last season they got to the playoff finals and ended up losing but guys we're arriving back here at griffin park and in the next episode for all of you guys we've got a game in the cabero cup against barnsley which is away from home as well so we haven't had our griffin park debut just yet but that will come in the game after that as you can see the uh, barnsley game there on the 14th of august and then after that one we've got a league match i think against huddersfield town which i think is at home on the 18th of august so that's going to be interesting guys thank you for tuning into this episode it's been so much fun starting the series off as santi commissan i can't believe we're doing it it's been a pretty epic first season up to this point with jesus garcia and godrick nansen and now you've got diego ruiz to deal with as well guys it's getting crazy what is going on so much to going on so much to do so many storylines to follow make sure you stay tuned for all of them because all of them will be linking to each other especially santi's especially diego ruiz's make sure you're staying tuned for all of them because there's going to be some crazy stuff going on i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode there's plenty more of this to come alongside godrick Manston, Jesus Garcia, Diego Ruiz. It's going to be an epic year of stories, an epic year of videos for you all, including FIFA and a bunch of other games. So make sure you're here, make sure you're staying tuned, and I will see you guys all in the next episode. Peace out.